Okay, so I've had a couple of requests for me to make a third video relating to the installation of the Tekka Classic mod pack and the Sfax texture pack to go along with it. First thing you want to do is go to technicpack.net, so just type that into Google. Once here you want to go to the download tab on the top right and download the launcher for your operating system, in my case Windows. After you download, just um, open up the technicwater.exe file or your Linux or Mac equivalent of the exe and log in using your Minecraft username and password or your Mojang account. From here you can select any mod pack that you want or even add custom ones. In the case of this tutorial, as it has been since the beginning, we'll be using the Tekkit Classic mod pack. In the top right you'll see the settings, where you can change basic settings, but there will be the only settings you'll probably need. I recommend for big, heavy mod packs that you want to allocate at least 4GB of RAM. I use 16 though. The next thing you want to do is go to purebdcraft.net, so type that or sfax into Google. And go to downloads and patches. From the downloads page, you want to scroll down until you see the pure bdcraft for Minecraft, which is just here. Click on that. and you'll be taken. Okay, something to note is that all the latest ones for Minecraft version 1.7.4 most likely won't work with the mod pack that you want to use. There are a few mod packs out there that run on Minecraft version 1.7.4 but most of the popular ones don't yet. So you want to go down to the older versions and select the texture pack for your equivalent version of Minecraft. In the Tekka Classic case, it's 1.2.5 slash 1.3.0. Another thing to note is that 128 by 128 is the maximum resolution that you can go with mod with, um, with the Tekka Classic mod pack at least, and most other mod packs out there. Um, anything bigger than that doesn't have the equivalent patch for it. So you want to get um, 128 by 128 as a maximum. So you saw that the different mod packs are on a different version of Minecraft. So you need to make sure you select the mod pack. You make sure you select the texture pack for your version of Minecraft that you plan to be using. Which again in this case is 1.2.5 or the Tekka Classic. Next you want to go to the patches section and click on the mod packs tab and uh, scroll down until you see the mod pack that you're after which is in this case Tekka Classic which I've said many times already. Click on patch details And as you can see, it goes to a maximum of 128 by 128. Now, this is what the other person on my video commented on. You, this page doesn't exist right now. However, if you go to the Tech It Classic Patch forum thread, uh, there are temporary links until those links there are fixed, which will be linked in the video description. However, most of the time those links should work just fine. So as you can see there are media file links. Uh, just click the media the download media file folder button on the last page, page five. On page five of this thread and you'll be taken to the temporary patch download section. 
after you have downloaded the base texture pack and the Tekka Classic or Mod Pack patch, you can see them in the downloads folder or where they were downloaded to, which are these two files right there. You want to open up the base texture pack and then you want to open up the Tekka patch. From here, you will want to copy everything. Um, you can open them in a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. I personally use 7-Zip, but you don't have to. Any zip or archiving program should work. Then you want to copy everything from the Tekkit patch into the base pure, DP, pure BDCraft zip file. You should note that it is still called Pure BDCraft 128, the base pack still is named the same, so it's good practice to rename the file so you don't lose track of it. Okay, so there are two ways that you can install the texture pack. One is manually and one is through Minecraft itself. The manual way involves typing in percent app data percent provided you're in a Windows machine and bringing up the roaming folder. From here you want to click on the .technic folder and on the techit folder inside there. Go to texture packs and copy the patched texture pack straight into the texture packs folder. And that's done. The second way of doing it through Minecraft is simply by going into Minecraft and on the main menu there is a texture packs button, click the texture packs button and then click the button that says open the texture packs folder. That'll open up the same folder we were just in and you can copy it, copy the patched file into the folder. And that will also install it. Um, select the texture pack and you're good to go. This has been my third tutorial on this. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I look forward to doing more in the future. But for now, bye.